Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. So for today, what we're going to do, we did a, we're going to do a, a few practice problems. Okay, we're going to practice uh, solving average atomic mass of the different elements. Okay, um, so I'm going to go over an example here real quick. Um, and I've gone over this example before, but I'm going to write out the steps on how to solve it and each problem and then we'll be good to go, all right? All right, so what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you an example for boron, okay? So boron has two different mass or two different neutrons, okay? And I think I've shown you this one before, but I'm gonna write out the steps on how to solve it. Okay, so boron has a mass is 20%. Boron 10 is 20% of the compound. Boron 11 is 80%. Okay, so to solve these problems, there are four steps, okay? Step number one. All right, step number one is what you're going to do is change the percent to a number. <clears throat> by <clears throat> moving the decimal two spots left. Okay, change the percent to a number by moving the decimal two spots left. So here's my, let me just go to the side. Here's my decimal right here, right? It's kind of invisible. So I'm gonna move it one, two. So there's my new decimal, okay? One, two. There's my new decimal. So now I can get rid of my percentages, okay? Because now I have my numbers. Okay? Step two. Multiply. the mass by its pers by its number mass by its number and this was the percent that you just changed the decimal to all right so you're going to multiply those two numbers together and those two numbers together all right so i get 2 and i get 8.8 .8. Step three, and the final step. Add your two answers. Okay, add your two answers. So if I add these two, I get 10.8. Okay, and that's your final answer. There are three steps. So change the percent to a decimal, okay? Um, but I guess there is a pre-step. Make sure you add your mass, or you have your mass next to your percent. So your mass, boron 10, was 20%. So setting that up, that might be an extra step, all right? So knowing that that 10 is 20%, 20 um, that's step one. But then you follow these steps, okay, and solve the four problems. There's only four, um, but try it out. All right, try it out and then turn it in, in on Google Classroom. Uh, if you guys have questions or want me to go over it again, uh, just let me know and I will. And um, I'll go over more examples. Maybe I'll go over one of the examples on your homework. Okay. If not, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, get that done and you'll be good to go. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.